the Columbus Zoo really became a part of her family when Jack was hired as the director. Well, the first thing that I saw was the zoo had the potential of being a great zoo. I have a saying, it's called, touch the heart to teach the mind. And that's what our visitors, we have to touch their heart to teach their mind about the animal world. Same thing with the television. And so I must say this, you know, the education we do here at Sue Knows, that's the number one goal. Conservation, yes, it's important. But you cannot have conservation without education first. And that's what we really buzzed in on here at the Columbus Zoo. So go there and take your trip to these continents all over the world to see these animals. And then you'll understand how you love them and you want to save them. The future of wildlife is also the future of human life. When you think about all the stuff the Columbus Zoo and we have done, I hope and I know we have helped human life just as much as animal life. Everyone thinks we're just into this for the animals. No, we know that we have to educate people first and then you can help save the animals. You can't go vice versa. Jack and I have found fulfillment and ultimate joy in helping others, whether it is a person or an animal, by connecting people with wildlife. We all share this magnificent planet together, and it's our responsibility to protect it for future generations and our incredible wildlife. Thank you, Jack and Susie, for the difference you've made in this world. Through education, you've inspired a new generation of conservationists. Through advocacy, you've given a powerful voice to the animal kingdom. On behalf of the animals and those who love them, we say thank you. From our heart of Africa to the heart of Africa. From our wilds to the wilds of Patagonia and from our living laboratory to living rooms across the country. Yeah!